In this episode of Automower Answers, we're going to try to give you a little bit of information about the 500 series of automowers. There's a lot of misconceptions out there about these mowers and what they can do and what they're made for. So we're going to give you some of the differences between the 500 series and the 400 series of automowers and help you get a better idea of where these mowers should be used. Currently in North America, the 500 series of automowers consists of the 550, the 550H, which is a high cut version of the 550, and the 535 AWD, as you probably guessed, which is a 500 series version of the 435X all wheel drive articulating automower. So the first big difference that you'll notice between the 500 series automowers and the 400 series automowers is the fact that when you pull a 500 series automower out of the box, brand new, it has the orange top cover on it. That is standard for all the 500 series automowers. The next thing you'll notice is there's no keypad hatch because there is no keypad. There is no menu screen on any of the 500 series automowers. So you can see here, look at this picture of a 450X on the left, a 550H on the right. There's a huge difference there between the size of the stop buttons on the 400 series and the stop button on the 500 series. Also, without having that keypad on there, it really makes you wonder when you first see one of these 500 series mowers, whether you're missing something or not, because you're looking to see where it opens up at. And a lot of people think up there where it says Husqvarna and auto mower and has all these logos on it, because of the way that that top cover is designed, a lot of people think that the mower is going to open up there to reveal a menu screen, but it doesn't. Because the 500 series of auto mowers do not have a keypad or menu screen, the only way to make any adjustments to them, change any settings, or even initially set them up is to use the Automower Connect app. So why does the 500 series of automowers not have a keypad or a keypad hatch, menu screen, or any of that stuff like the 400 series of automowers? Pretty simple. It's a 500 series piece of equipment from Husqvarna. So that means it's built for commercial use. So you're going to have these out there roaming around on commercial properties. And if you take away all those items, it makes this mower a good bit more tamper proof. Nobody can get in there and change any of the settings or mess with anything. The only way you can do anything with it is to have access to the Automower Connect app and already be paired up or connected to the 500 series mower that you're trying to adjust the settings on. Now you might be wondering, well, if you can't put any of that stuff on there, why does it still have a stop button on the top? And that's another simple one. Uh, legally, you have to. That's just a requirement that you have to have on a piece of equipment like this. So there's one on there. It's much smaller than on the 400 series, but it is still on there. So the mower can be stopped in an emergency. Now, all the 500 series auto mowers do have a status light on them on the 550 and 550H. It's right here in front of the start side of the start stop button. You can see on this one, it's lit up green. It will light up green, yellow, red, and blue. And on the 535 AWD, it will light up around the stop button or power button, I should say, in the center, just like it will on a 435X around the jog wheel. And you'll have the different colors letting you know whether it's in pairing mode, whether there's an error, whether it's mowing, whatever. And you can pay attention to them and kind of get an idea of what's going on with the mower or what it's trying to do. Now, speaking of the on-off switch for the 535 AWD, it is located right here on the top of the mower, just like on the 435X where you have the jog wheel, which you can use to turn the mower on and off. Since there is no menu to navigate, there's no need for a jog wheel on the 535 AWD, but they kept the on off switch right there in the center, just like they did with the 435X. And if you're wondering on the 550 and 550H, the main power switch is in the same location on the bottom of the chassis as it is on the 400 series of automowers because they use the same lower chassis on the 400 series and 500 series of automowers. Another big noticeable difference between the 500 series of automowers and the 400 series is the fact that the 500 series does not come with headlights. It's a commercial unit. They want that thing to be out there quiet and mowing in the dark and not drawing a lot of attention to itself. Kind of odd to put an orange cover on it when they don't want it to draw a lot of attention to itself but still not as bad as putting headlights on and having them on in the middle of the night. So if you're keeping score at home, you now know that the 500 series of automowers do not come with headlights. They all come with orange top covers. 
and none of them have any kind of keypad hatch, keypad, uh, menu screen, or jog wheel, or any way to access any of the menus or settings on the actual mower. It all has to be done through the Automower Connect app. So what might surprise quite a few of you out there is the fact that if you open these Automowers up, the 500 series, you open them up, you're going to find a lot of the same stuff that you find in the 400 series of automowers. If you look at a 550, it's going to be the same inside as a 450X. If you look at a, a 550H, of course, it's going to be the same as in the 450X or 450XH. And the 535, you're going to find the same stuff in it that you would find in the 435X. Um, minus the headlight wiring harness, of course, because they don't come with headlights. But... All the other stuff in there is basically the same stuff. Uh, wheel motors, motherboards, main boards, HMI boards, cutting motors, um, all that good stuff. So if you understand that, then you can understand why when people have this idea that the 500 series of automowers is for some reason capable of mowing like three to five acres, not going to happen. It, it's the same cutting capacity as the 400 series of automowers because it's the same parts inside of it. I, I'm not really sure where that whole little urban legend started from of the 500 series automowers being able to um, cut more grass uh, or have a larger working area than the 400 series, but I've heard it quite a bit over the last couple of years, and it, it just, you know... It would be interesting to see where that came from. I don't know if it's just the fact that because it has that 5 in the model number that that's what led people to believe that. Now, you heard me mention earlier that any of the 500 series equipment from Husqvarna, whether it's an auto mower or a string trimmer or chainsaw, um, zero turn mower, whatever it is, if it's a 500 series, then it is their commercial grade equipment. So it's made for professionals. It's made for landscapers. It's made for contractors. It's made for people that are going to Use it and abuse it day in, day out. And you have those scenarios where somebody comes into a, a power equipment dealer and they say, look, I've got a couple acres of leaves. I need a good heavy-duty leaf blower. I need something with a lot of power. I, I don't want anything consumer. I don't want anything they can buy at a big box store. I need something commercial grade because I need the power, and I need something that's going to last and hold up to all the work I'm going to put it through. And that's where a homeowner would buy a 500 series backpack blower because that's what they need. And you have that as well with chainsaws and, and some of the other equipment, string trimmers and that stuff. This is not one of those cases. If you are buying an automower for use at your home, you are not going to gain anything at all by buying a 500 series automower. In fact, you're going to make the experience tougher on yourself because you won't have that keypad and that menu screen there to make it just simpler to navigate th through things, to set things up, to change settings. And uh, a perfect scenario of where this could be a hassle if you had a 500 series automower compared to a 400 series automower is, let's say you're away on vacation. Something happens with your mower, whether it's the power goes out, uh, it gets you know caught up in a groundhog hole that wasn't there before you left. Uh, somebody's in your yard and messing around with it and causes the mower to stop. The pin code needs re-entered in that mower and then told to start mowing again. If you have a 400 series auto mower, you can easily call up a relative, a neighbor, a best friend, whoever, and say, "Hey, you know, stop her at my house. My auto mower is in the backyard. You know, it, it just needs to be restarted." Here's the pin code, put the pin code in, and tell it to start mowing again. Plain and simple. If you have a 500 series auto mower, whoever you're going to send to your house to do that for you has to have the mower connected to the auto mower app, the auto mower connect app. So they've already got to have the app downloaded on their phone. They have to already be connected to the mower, and they have to understand how all that stuff works. It's not just as simple as going over there, punching in a four-digit number, and hitting OK and telling it to start on the main area. You see, that's one of those issues where you have the extra stuff on the 400 series mower because you're going to need it, because you're going to use it more often. On the 500 series mower, because they're made for commercial use, they're made to be put out there in areas where nobody's going to be messing with them. The, the working area is not going to be changed. 
it, it's going to stay pretty consistent all the time. They are set it and forget it and very little tweaking or maintenance in between. Now, that being said, don't get me wrong. If you're shopping around for an automower for use at your home and you come across a smoking deal on a 500 series automower, yeah, don't pass that up. Go ahead and jump on that because you're going to get the same reliability, the same quality cut, the same durability that you would with a 400 series mower from the 500 series mower. It's just there's going to be that little bit more of a learning curve and you're not going to have that that ease of operation and, and ease of learning because you won't have the um, menu screen there and the keypad. You're going to have to do everything through the app and that can be a little bit frustrating. So, you know, again, this was made for commercial use and that's the main point we want to make here. This isn't something where you're going to go into your dealer and say, well, you sold me that commercial leaf blower, so now I need a commercial automower. It's not going to work that way. You're not going to be happy with it. So hopefully this video here gives you a better idea of what some of the differences are between the 400 series and 500 series automowers and why these are built for commercial use and why they're not a good idea for use around the home. But they're a really good option if you have a commercial property or um, are maintaining a commercial property for uh, a business or a municipality or anything like that. Remember, we can't stress this enough that when it comes to power equipment, it's all about buying the right piece of equipment for the job that you're trying to do. Not about shopping for price, not about shopping by brand, not about shopping by, by uh, you know, reviews on the internet or anything else. It's about buying the right piece of equipment made by the manufacturer for the job you're trying to do. And in this case, the 500 series automowers are made for mowing commercial property not really intended for use around the home. You can do it, but like I keep saying, you're probably not going to be too happy with it, at least not from the start. So stick with the 400 series automowers or 300 series automowers for around the home and the 500 series automowers for commercial use. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I think I've rambled on here long enough, but you get the idea um, when it comes to these 500 series automowers. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you didn't know, we also have another channel out now on YouTube. Um, the name of that channel is Robotic Mower Services. Be sure to subscribe to that one because that one is specifically for automowers and has a lot of automower uh, tips and, and how-tos and automowers in action. And there's going to be a lot more stuff being added to that channel in the coming months. So if you want to subscribe to that, again, it's Robotic Mower Services. Check that channel out on YouTube. Check out some of the playlists on there. And if you have any questions or comments, of course, you can leave them on this video. Or you can send an email to roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. And it's the same process. If you're looking to order any parts for your automower, just send an email to roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. Let us know the model and serial number of your automower and what parts it is you're looking for. So I hope you enjoyed this video here about the 500 series automowers. Uh, until next time. Thanks for watching.